Auburn hired Bruce Pearl as the men's basketball coach. Bruce Pearl, Tennessee. Tennessee coach Bruce Pearl directs his team during practice for an NCAA West Regional Tournament college basketball game in Charlotte, NC, Thursday, March 17, 2011. Auburn, Alabama. Auburn Athletics director Jay Jacobs has made a big splash by hiring former Tennessee coach Bruce Pearl as the Tigers' new men's basketball coach, according to the school. Pearl's hire ends a whirlwind six-day search that focused its energy on him. Jacobs, who led the search alone and promised to conduct the search for a new basketball coach quickly, has now remade his top sports, landing Gus Malzahn for the football program, stealing Sonny Golloway away from Oklahoma for baseball, hiring two-time national champion Clint Myers for softball and now landing Pearl, a proven coach coming off of a show course. From the moment I met Coach Pearl and heard his vision for our basketball program, it was clear has the right man at the right time for Auburn, Jacobs said. Coach Pearl is a proven winner who will bring energy and excitement to our program. We have raised the bar for Auburn basketball, and I could not be more excited for our student athletes and our future under Coach Pearl's leadership. I know he agrees with me. It's time to win. Pearl, who was instantly identified as a top candidate for the job after Jacobs fired Tony Barbie following Auburn's SEC tournament loss, is a proven coach with a 231-99 record in 10 seasons at the Division I level, piling up eight NCAA tournament appearances, three Sweet 16 finishes and one Elite Eight. Before he was hired at UW-Milwaukee, Pearl spent 10 years at NCAA Division II Southern Indiana, where he won the National Championship. Pearl, 54, has been working as an ESPN analyst and the vice president of marketing for the H.T. Hackney Company, also comes with some baggage. He is in the final months of a three-year show cause penalty levered, a penalty that requires a school to produce evidence to the NCAA for hiring him and bans him from recruiting until the show cause expires on August 23rd of this year. In 2008, Pearl hosted three recruits, including current Ohio State star Aaron Kraft at his home for a cookout and NCAA secondary violation and then lied about the cookout to the NCAA, turning a secondary violation into a major violation. But Auburn feels like it's well equipped to take on a coach with Pearl's history. Dave Didion, who returned to Auburn as assistant athletic director of compliance last year, was the lead investigator on Pearl's case, according to a source, and the school feels that a strong compliance department led by Didion and compliance director Rich McGlynn will be able to guide Pearl well on compliance issues. Didion also signed off on Auburn's pursuit of Pearl, according to a source with knowledge of the situation. Beyond the problems the show caused presence, though, Pearl brings instant credibility and exposure to a basketball program that hasn't been to the NCAA tournament since 2003. Popular with fans and media, Pearl has a big personality that makes him a good fit for building support for the school across the state. In addition to his lengthy history of winning, Pearl knows the SEC, and he understands what it's like to revitalize basketball at a school with a high-profile football program.